Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day and today I'm going to be sharing my second compilation of Inktober time lapses. I hope that all of you artists and illustrators out there participating in Inktober this year are having fun with this challenge and not allowing it to stress you out too much. For me, taking time out of my day in order to create these sketches and think of ideas that I wouldn't usually think of is a great distraction from all of the work that I have been doing. I would absolutely love to hear from you in the comment section below. I would love to know which Inktober prompt has been your favorite so far. Today I'm going to be sharing the time lapses for sketches number 6 to number 11. And in today's video I'm actually going to be explaining a tiny bit about the idea behind each piece. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome! I publish a new video every single Friday sharing guard tips, drawing and painting tutorials, encouragement for beginner and intermediate artists, and insights into my own work. So if this sounds interesting to you, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of this growing art community. And if you do, don't forget to click on the little notification bell so that YouTube can let you know whenever I publish a new video. I'll be leaving links to the ink, the drawing pens, and the sketchbook that I am using for Inktober down below in the description box in case you want to check them out for yourself. And if you use my links, I'll be receiving a tiny commission at no extra cost to you so that I can keep creating these videos for you. Alright guys, give me a like if you enjoy sketching with ink as much as I do and let's get into it. Inktober prompt for day 6 was drooling and for this one I chose to draw a scary hungry wolf kind of staring at the viewer. This is probably the sketch that I've liked least so far and I did it while it was very late, I was pretty tired, I actually did it twice. I ended up still not liking his eyes very much as they turned out super flat. The shading in the actual animal is pretty sloppy and I definitely feel like I need a lot of more practice sketching animals using a drawing pen. However, as I mentioned, I was very tired, I decided to cut myself some slack and go to bed. So this is my first time actually participating in Inktober as I was explaining in my last video which I recommend you check out after this one if you haven't already and I actually really wanted to go by the prompts this year, the official prompts and I also wanted to make them scary because October is one of my favorite months of the year and I love Halloween so I wanted all of my sketches to have a scary idea behind them. Even though this isn't usually the type of artwork that I create, I really love scary movies. I grew up watching TV shows like Twilight Zone, Tales from the Crypt, Creep Show, and I grew up reading Stephen King novels because my parents were total fans and had all of his books. So I kind of have a very active imagination when it comes to scary stuff. So I'm sorry if any of my ideas for my Inktober sketches so far have been more on the morbid side. These things are just sort of entertaining for me and that's all it is. Thank you. 
So moving on to October prompt number seven, and this one was exhausted. For this one, I actually used an image that I've had in my mind for years and years. See, when I was younger, I just couldn't fall asleep if I didn't have my back against the wall. And the reason was because I felt that if I slept with my back facing the empty room, like something or someone would be there watching me as I slept. No matter how tired I was, I just couldn't fall asleep that way. So I felt that this would be a good idea for this prompt. Prompt number eight was star, and for this one I had a hard time coming up with something that would be scary. 
Finally, the idea of a door of a celebrity dressing room came into my mind just because I remember having seen in movies those uh, doors with a star on them with kind of a celebrity's name underneath. But then I thought that this idea would be too simple, it wouldn't really lead to anything visually interesting, and plus, it wasn't really scary at all. So then I try to think of an idea of something that could be going on inside of a celebrity's dressing room. And so finally, I came up with this image of a celebrity woman sitting down at her dresser in front of her mirror, but then not have a reflection staring back at her. I thought that this idea could probably lead to an interesting drawing to look at, and I also like the idea that it was open to the viewer's interpretation, because maybe this person was a vampire and that's why we don't see her reflection, or maybe she's a ghost, or maybe she doesn't have a soul, or whatever. Prompt number nine was precious, and as probably many people out there, the first thing that came into my mind was Gollum. But of course, I wanted to push my imagination further, and I don't really do fan art, especially when it comes to specific characters. So after having gone about my day and having the prompt sitting in the back of my head for a few hours, I then remembered a documentary that I watched a while back about serial killers and how some of them used to keep body parts of their victims as sort of keepsakes or treasures. And that's finally what I decided to go with.
Inktober prompt number 10 was flowing. And for this one, I could not help myself. The first image that came into my mind was a very known scene from the movie The Shining, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. In this scene, there is a whole bunch of blood cascading out of the elevators and flowing out towards the viewer. I thought this would be perfect for this prompt and also fun to do, and so I decided to, I guess, create a bit of fan art in this case.
And finally, Inktober prompt number 11 was the word cruel. And for this one, I thought of specific cruel characters from different movies like Cruella de Vil and Maleficent, and also that witch from Snow White. So finally, I decided to go with a witchy hand holding a poisoned apple because I felt that this idea would be not only more practical for me to do, but would also lead to a pretty nice looking composition overall. And also, it was a great chance for me to practice drawing hands.
everyone. So that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this little collection of Inktober time lapses that I put together for you. You can expect two more Inktober videos the next two Fridays. And if you want to see these drawings as I am creating them day to day throughout the month of October, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm going to make sure to leave links to my profiles down below in the description box. Don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me which Inktober prompt has been your favorite so far. I would really appreciate you liking this video if you liked it. It really helps my channel out. Hit that subscribe button to keep hearing from me and see you next Friday. Bye!